All right, now to a neighborhood tragedy. What began as a stabbing investigation in Pembroke Pines has been elevated to a homicide after a woman died from her injuries. Olivia Jaquith has been on the scene since this morning. Olivia, tell us more about who is in custody for this. Well, police say it's really too soon to say exactly who's responsible, but they say that initial 911 call came from inside this community here for a man who'd allegedly stabbed his wife and then barricaded himself in the garage. Neighbors telling me they are shocked and heartbroken. We don't prepare for stuff like this. <laughs> we don't prepare for stuff like this. Homeowner Peter Robinson at a loss for words. I still don't, can't process what happened. After police were called to this home on La Costa Drive around 6 o'clock this morning for a reported stabbing that turned deadly. Robinson said he's the godfather of one of the children who lives here and longtime friends with the husband who rents the property from him. I've known the gentleman for 30 something years. But today, it was classified as a stabbing. Our police department has elevated that investigation to a homicide. A spokesperson this morning saying Pembroke Pines police were called to the Grand Palms community, where her husband had reportedly stabbed his wife and barricaded himself inside the garage. SWAT was able to get in. And then the male subject was transported to a local area hospital for injuries that were sustained without any police involvement or without any police use of force. His wife also rushed to the hospital, but she did not survive. This is a very difficult situation for children to absorb, for that matter, anybody. Our police department and the men and women who work for our, for our agency are doing everything possible to offer resources and services for these children because of the situation that they are about to face. Now, to give you an idea of just how fluid things are, we're now about 11 hours out from that initial 911 call. This is a gated community here. I just stepped outside a little while ago, and when I left the home, there was still crime scene tape surrounding it, as well as police officers on scene. Now, the last update we got from authorities was this afternoon. They said no charges had been filed. Again, as of this afternoon, things still fluid here and could change. Of course, we'll bring you those updates. But again, we're hearing from authorities that the husband is still in the hospital. Stay with us on air and online for the latest, but for now, we're live in Pembroke Pines. Olivia Jaquith, NBC6 News. Thank you.